fit all these parts in three different solvents. Initially, we did the somication with acetone, followed by hexane, and finally, we have somicated in methanol. So, we are doing this cleaning and somication with different solvents so that to remove all the impurities, if there are any kind of impurity, different polarity impurity which is present. After sonication, we place all these parts on an aluminum foil and allow it to dry itself or if you are having a over in the lab, you can keep uh, wrap them and keep the oven for 5 minutes at 80 degrees centigrade and after that remove it and allow it to cool down so after and allow it to cool down when it is completely cool we will reassemble it okay. in case if you are not having oven you can just keep it in air for 10-15 minutes then the solvent is going to evaporate by itself now we can use these parts to assemble the anchors again and to fix it in the DCMS and start the DCMS okay. and allow it to cool down when it is completely cool we will reassemble it Okay. In case if you are not having oven, you can just keep it in air for 10-15 minutes then the solvent is going to evaporate by itself. Now we can use these parts to assemble the anchors again and to fix it in the GCMS and start the GCMS. Okay. Placing these o-rings, this is a screw which needs to be placed above it. Just hand tied it. Okay. You can see with one finger I was holding the repeller and using the other hand I have tightened this screw. Now using this screwdriver which is your 5.5 mm so we have to tighten this but remember we don't have to over tighten it. Just tighten it as much as it is required. If you over tighten it again there is a risk of breaking the insulators which are there. Okay. So to avoid breaking the insulator just tighten it as much as it is required and do not try to over tighten it okay now you place this body ion source body like this okay it should be like this that this portion is going to face the right side so that these portions which are there na, this is your extensor extractor lens connector these are the draw these are your uh, ion focus and intense lens connections they should be lying in the right hand side and then we will be placing this heater like this we will use two screws Remember to use fresh gloves, do not try to touch the iron source with your hands because in our hands there will be lots of contaminants, oil is already there. So to avoid getting all these kind of different peaks, we have to use proper gloves. Okay. So I will place this one which is looking a brand new filament in the filament number one position right now. Again, do not over tighten anything. All these parts are make, made up of ceramic, and if we over tighten, we may end up breaking some of the parts. But no need to worry, just be careful.
so one common mistake which happens when we are refixing the filament assemblies are this that instead of facing the filament portion inside some of the time we reverse this portion and the filament portion will be facing outside the iron source body so that is the wrong way to connect this is the way where we have connected that the that the filament is facing inside the iron source body is correct you can see both the filaments are fitted correctly and you have to remember this this is a common mistake which may happen therefore just i am guiding you okay now the iron source is ready to be fixed in the ms part and we'll go back to the screw again this screw is already open and opening this part okay then you can see we can fix the iron source like this when it is properly fixed take these two screws we don't have to use there is no need to use any screwdriver here just we need to hand tie it okay okay so as i said earlier the blue one indicates the entrance lens which is the last part of your iron source so blue part will be away from you the orange part represents the iron focus it should be towards you we have fixed like that this cable which is coming from below is your extractor lens and we'll be fixing it like this okay then we will fix these heater sensors this sensors we are fixing first rtd represents the sensor part and then we have these mm -hmm. heater wires so we have fixed we have fixed these four gate parts in the ceramic plate now we will be fixing these five cables which are coming for filament and the repeller this white one represents for the filament number 1 we are fixing it first okay then again this red one represents the repeller and then black one represents your filament number 2 so we have fixed the filament number 2 cables also just check all the cables are fixed properly no cable is loose okay when you are you have confirmed that everything is fine so while restarting the ms and you have opened this portion already you can also check this o ring okay some of the times when we open the iron source this o ring may come out of its slot and when we try to restart the gcms it may show some kind of leakage so just using fresh gloves just press your finger over here outside nothing inside that o ring is perfectly fit fixed now we are going to place back this side plate door and we are not we don't require to tighten this okay and the system is working so just fix these two cables now for restarting the ms we need to push this plate like this you can use some screwdriver or something like that and then start the ms just keep pressing this door for another 5 10 seconds and after that you will see that because of the vacuum pumps and because of the vacuum being created by the pumps now it is fixed and there is no need to tighten these things Just keep it like that only. Again, cover this part. So, after cleaning the iron source and after restarting the GCMS, we need to bake out the MSD for at least two hours. Okay. Some of the times 
when we open the complete system, there will be very high moisture, high nitrogen and high oxygen inside this vacuum chamber. So if we hurry up and we try to tune the system within few minutes, maybe half an hour, 15 minutes, there will be high moisture in the in the vacuum chamber and because of that your filaments may get damaged and you may face some kind of challenges. So whenever you are cleaning the end source, you are starting the system, keep it for baking for at least one to two hours so that the system is uh, free from all the atmospheric gases like nitrogen, oxygen and moisture, sufficient vacuum is there. So when you are cleaning, you will be getting the perfect tune report and then you can go ahead with your sample analysis.